Hello and good morning in Europe, good evening in the United States. This is Ahura with another daily outlook videos. I mean, the daily videos that we are looking at the market situation today on Monday, February 14, to see what is going on in the market, what happened, and what we have to expect from today's financial markets. So far, we now we are starting a week with the heavy economic data on one side and other side with increasing, sharply increasing the tensions between the Russian and Ukrainian, while we have some signals that it can slow uh, or we can solve it, we can find some way to solve it. As I mentioned the last week, uh, there are three, there are different scenarios. You can see here the market risk, how market risk is increasing these days, uh, and how this tensions is changing the situations, everything in the market. One of the scenarios that is so likely and so possible, and actually. It's the most uh, logic, uh, logical way to, to find the reason out, to find a way out from the tensions is that Ukrainian by them own, they withdraw their request to joining the NATO. And we hear that comments finally from uh, Ukrainian ambassador in the UK last night. He mentioned that, I forget his name, but he mentioned that they are ready to withdraw their request for now from uh, joining uh, as well from uh, of joining to the, the NATO for now uh, to, to decrease the level of tensions and it is possible uh, because it, this is probably what uh, NATO what the Ukrainian what the American and what the you know, European also will want from the Ukraine because uh, but at the same time they will promise probably something else to them but uh, this is this is because in this way uh, so the Americans and the Westerns, they show no weakness in their position. And at the same time, the Russian also will get what they want. So, uh, what, but, but yeah, we have a victim here and it's nothing uh, but Ukrainian. Uh, anyway, it, but this is a way out for now. If the Ukrainian, they victor, they request to, of joining to the NATO, it will end the war. It, the, war uh, the war possibility or likelihood will decrease so sharply for now, but the level of tensions will be still there because uh, it is not what all what uh, or what all, all what the Russian wants. Probably, most probably, the Russian will start uh, to make some changes inside Ukraine to change the Ukrainian uh, government to someone that they trust them, someone who can take the side of the Russians, right? Not the European and not, not the Westerns, right? This is. Uh, this is what is going on right now there, and this is what the situation is. Anyway, that situation increased the market risk, how you can see here. About the, uh, more about the week ahead and uh, economic data that you have to watch, you can look, you can watch the weekly outlook video, which is right, right here in, uh, in this video channel, in this video channel, in the YouTube channel. You can look at the video uh, of the big market outlook uh, playlist. You can see them uh, from in the market outlook playlist. You can see the uh, weekly outlook. Anyway, uh, here as you, as you can see here in the chart, uh, the market tensions uh, increase the market risk right now. This is the volatility chart, and you can see it above 26, 27. And Friday we had it all above 28 as well, and it is still increasing. This latest comments from the Ukrainian. Uh, ambassador in the uh, ambassador in the in, in the UK a little bit decreased the market tensions. That's probably if the government governors in the Ukraine also they confirm it, we're gonna see the market is to decrease. But for now it is still there. Uh, uh, this increasing market risk increased the gold, increased the oil. Uh, sorry, increased the uh, gold and oil as well. But right now we're in the big chart. Increased the uh, US dollar safe haven demands as well. And as you can see here. Uh, UST is still up as it was on a Friday, uh, and now it is also up and to this week. Also, we had uh, we had a in the, about the US dollar, about the US dollar in general, about the Fed's policies. Uh, so in the last days, in the last weeks, we hear probably too many uh, comments or too many uh, articles from different banks and the different uh, institutes that Fed will probably increase. Uh, the, th the, the, the the rates by 50 basis point on the March meeting, and probably this urgent meeting that we're gonna have to, this week is going to they are going to start the increasing the rate hikes. 
we know that it is not something that had happened. On the last, uh, on the weekend also, we saw that some of the Fed members, they had a speech and all of them almost, they denied of the possibility of 50 basis point rate, rate, uh, high, rate hikes on the March meeting because it is not a logic, you know, we are ending the, we are ending the QE plan and right after that starting the, uh, we can, sh should we start the, uh, increasing the rates? It is, it is not something that uh, to be seen as a logic uh, idea, to be seen as something that is good to do it. So uh, here, uh, so here we are talking about uh, not denying of the, this opportunity, this possibility, but still the market tensions and ge generally uh, economic data that we had from United States, it's still supporting the US dollar. And as we talked before, US dollar will be between 96 and 97 for time bound, and then we'll see what's going to happen for you for the gold. Gold is a little bit decreasing today after the sharp increase of Fridays, but still the gold is still in a clear uptrend. Uh, in general, we are still uh, maybe maybe even we can see some uh, correction here. But still, you know what the thing is that uh, the thing is that generally we are in a situation that we can say that the market tensions can increase the gold safe haven demand. But how far it can go? It, it, you know, but about the gold as we talked before also, uh, and I already told that gold for 2022. Because of the market tension and risk and adopts that we have in the market, we are in a general. Uh, generally, we are in a very uh, soft uptrend. I mean, the uptrend is here, uh, and we can see the booze in the chart, but it's not something sharp uptrend. But the gold price in 2022 will increase slowly, and uh, we're going to see the up and down, some uh, correction again, up and up. So, therefore, we are still in the long term upside movements for the gold and the demand for the gold for the tension because of the tensions and too many other reasons that we have in the market, dobs and uncertainty in the market. Gold demand is still there, and we can see the gold in a uh, more higher levels as well. About the silver, we have almost the same situation. We're going to see it much faster uh, about 30 in next month. About the uh, Oil. Oil is the Russia is supporting almost 35 percent of oil in the generally uh, exporting the oil export markets. These it means that the t increasing tensions in, in Russian borders, in Ukrainian borders, generally that's what we have right now, will increase the market tensions in the supply, and it will it means that we can see the oil price is still increasing and around this level. So seeing the seeing the oil price above 90 and around these levels is something likely. And last week also we talked about this levels of 87, 88, 88, uh, 77 cents or 88 dollars. And let's call it 87, 80 or 88 dollars. Let's call it 88 dollars. About 88 dollar uptrend is here, and the bulls can continue for now, still for today. Uh, with tensions a little little bit slower slowing the tensions or the softening the tensions with the comments of ambassador comments that in uh, ukrainian ambassador comments we can probably see some correction but still we are generally in uptrend same situation we can see in a gas and a gas price again increase about the four dollars so increasing the gas about four dollars generally about uh, about four dollars we totally send it to the new uh bullish round and we can see four dollar forty cent as the next target uh, first target and then four dollar seventy two cent uh this tensions in the market generally can put the stock market a little bit under pressure as increasing the oil and the gas price means that the higher uh higher levels of inflation in the market and higher levels of inflation in the market will weaken the stock market generally while it will increase the possibility of the more tightening policies from the Federal Reserve as well. Therefore, we can see more pressure on SP500 and other stocks. But however, $4,300 is the K resist K support and uh, from the technical uh, point of view. And as long as we're here, we are above this level, $4,300, we are still in a clear upturn. Same situation we have for, uh, for, uh, for the NASDAQ. Again, we are back to 14,000 area, 14,200. As long as we are above 14,000, we are in the uptrend in a, a midterm and a long term. 
but 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 as a, as it's for, as, as it's for uh, ASP 500, the Nasdaq also will be in a, uh, in, in the pressure under pressure this week, especially especially with increasing uh, uh, ten years bond yields. As we know, the bond yields last week reached above two percent, and now it's above one point ninety four ninety five percent, and still increasing. Uh, same situation we have for SP5 uh, for United for Dow Jones. Uh, same situation of SP500 we have for Dow Jones as well. Uh, about the uh, Euro stocks also. Euro stocks, as you can see here, uh, after Friday Friday's falling, still today also it's uh, Friday's falling, still today the futures are falling. So the market will, the market will open today in the Euro stocks, which should be in two hours. We can see more downtrend here as well. Bitcoin. Fell again. And we, we talked about the, the this level for two four thousand six hundred dollars. Let's go. Uh, let's go here. Okay. We talked about this level for two four thousand. Oops. Here for four thousand six hundred USD, which is a sixty point sixty one point eight percent of its Fibonacci. I told that if daily can candles can close above this level, we can see the higher level. So the daily candles couldn't close about that, and it is back to the downtrend. From the technical point of view, as long as we are trading under forty four thousand six hundred right now, uh, we are in the downtrend. Especially if we breach the forty k down, so we can see the bears to have more more and more power from the fundamental point of view from the fundamental uh, point of view we can uh rose me okay uh young so uh this the crypto in the south korea the uh, say that probably from the fundamental from the news and fundamental they say it's nothing important just in the south korea they say that in the next meetings in the next voting uh elections maybe the crypto Will be uh, playing the main roles because of this, uh, which government going to be approve or not approve them. Uh, nothing important. But I'm, while I'm looking at the market, um, nothing important here. I cannot see something very important here to change to be able to change the market. But still, the market is in a clear uptrend, and we can see. Uh, we can see, yeah, market. Sorry, you guys heard the clear up as I was reading the news. The market still doesn't have something that we say that okay, that can that gonna change the market uh, direction. But still, still uh, between 40 40 k and forty four thousand six hundred k, we have no direction. Any direction need to be bridged under forty k or above forty four thousand six hundred. So here is a side movement with no exact direction. So any buy and sell <coughs> position should have. These levels as a stop loss uh, or take your profits. Uh, in the same situation, we have for Ripple for 82 cents and 92 cents. As long as it's under 82 cents, we are in a clear downtrend. For the Euro USD, Euro USD gain is under 1.14 as US dollar is increasing and the Euro is under uh, Euro, Euro will be more under pressure with Ukrainian tensions as the uh, as the, the, the energy market will be under pressure in Europe. Same situation we have for British pound and uh, but the uh, Japanese yen increased against US dollar, so it means that USD JPY was in a downtrend because of the market tensions and safe haven demand of Japanese yen. If uh, if today we have more comments from Ukrainian about the decreasing the level of the tensions, we can see the USD JPY again uh, above 115, 114. About generally 114, 15. Here is the what we can see the US, uh, the JPY and Japanese yen in general. Okay, this is totally the market situation and conditions. Hope it was useful for you guys. If you had any comments, please let me know. Write your idea, write your comments under this video. Uh, what do you want me to cover more or less? Let me know. We will be talking. We will talk again tomorrow morning.